Adam, congratulations. You've just been appointed as the new head coach for the Ireland women's team. You must be hugely enthused and excited about the challenge ahead. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's, it's something that we've um, progressed through, myself and the coaching at the moment with the Leinster women. Um, so taking the next step up is going to be a really good challenge for myself and, and getting involved with the squad now. Can you give us a little bit about your, your coaching background? You, you've come through sort of the whole, all of the levels of the RFU coaching system. Yeah, I've started off from the, the bottom of the pathway, I suppose, um, through my stage one right up into my, my stage four head coaching role. Um, I was involved with community rugby as well. So I suppose from my point of view, I've seen it start from the very um, bottom with the youngest group of girls um, starting through rugby. And that's gone up through the, the secondary school system and then into the Leinster uh, women's interpro team. So it's, it's gone from bottom to top, really. You mentioned the Leinster women's interpro team. You, you've had a big involvement there in, in recent seasons uh, in, in the interprovincial series. Another interprovincial series coming up. That's an opportunity for you to run the rule over all of the players available to you. Yeah, absolutely. It gives me a really good chance to see uh, the, the ladies that are involved in the squad already and then any that may stand out. Um, certainly last year there were some standout women that performed for me, um, but also against us as well. So again, being involved this year is going to give me that chance to see these girls at the top level uh, in Irish rugby. Munster women are playing against the Barbarians today, historic fixture. Um, another opportunity for, for the girls in Munster to gain some serious experience there. Oh, it's going to be a great challenge for them. I think I saw the Barbarians team has over a thousand international caps uh, in that team, so it's going to be a real challenge for the Munster women. But I think it also shows where the, the women's game is growing now, like the first Barbarians team. So it just shows that the, the game for the women is on an upward curve now. We have to ask the question that obviously there's been an, an awful lot in the media and there's been a lot of talk about the direction for women's rugby, in particular for the, the Ireland women's team, you know, post Women's Rugby World Cup. How is that going to affect you and, and, and what approach are you taking to that whole situation? Yeah, well, like I'm coming in a completely fresh start um, and that's, that's going to be the same for the ladies. Uh, I have I've obviously seen what happened in the World Cup and that was disappointing for the players involved. But I think if we go back even further, the Six Nations just gone. Uh, Ireland still finished second in that. So while the World Cup was a, a disappointment for them, uh, we're not far off and there's still a really good core group of girls there that are going to be able to push in the Six Nations. There was also the emergence of some new players in, 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 in recent games and even during the Women's Rugby World Cup, the likes of Nicole Cronin coming through. Are you excited to, to look at those players and see what they can bring to the setup? I can't wait. Um, and I think you know, emphasising the fresh start, these younger girls coming through now with the retirement of some of our older experienced players uh, gives these guys a great opportunity to, to step up and, and make their mark in women's rugby. Women's Six Nations in February, you, you have a very short amount of time to kind of to get to know the whole squad and to get prepared. A lot of work for you to do in the meantime? Yeah, there is. But in saying that, as I've mentioned, um, being involved in the Interpro Series, I've seen a lot of these ladies uh, perform already and at a really decent level. Watched a lot of AAL as well. So I have a, a fair um, knowledge of who's in that squad at the moment. Um, so they're coming in and I think we'll be, we'll be good to go. Um, we have about five camps uh, leading into the Six Nations, so that's where we'll get a lot of our work done. And come February, I'm sure we'll be prepared for it. Adam, we wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much.